what it do surprise shoddy crew and hey my daisy loves i'm gonna try to be brief i know it's been a minute been a while since i did like a riding in a car video um and <laughs> it's a lot of eagles flying out right now but uh i want to go live so i can kind of tell y'all more of the things that i've been learning the last couple of weeks um I'm gonna just keep this video short. One, this ain't what you want. And two, we need to not only rise to the occasion, but dress for the occasion, okay? And so in the community post, I had told y'all, you know, like I'm going through all this warfare and I'm hearing God say like, rise to the occasion. And even with that, I've been seeing, you know, like like a, a, a bird, like shaking stuff off of them and coming up higher and even thinking of, you know, like um, a phoenix rising from the ashes, which even in me saying that, I have a word about um, beauty for ashes, but it's so much deeper than that. So th I'm about to share with y'all where he meeting me at. So first, this ain't what you want. Um, I am somebody who, because I am so um illogical and i just want to understand things so bad that gets me so just hung up in life um with people in my relationships even in my walk with god because it's like i just want to understand and even one night in frustration i was praying and, and even when i get like that like i still hear god crystal clear and he like yo you're not gonna understand like my ways aren't your ways my thoughts aren't your thoughts so you can be as mad as you want but nothing is going to change that and i even know at this point in my faith walk like hey like i'll sit here and be mad before i actually leave though before i move do you get what i'm saying because i've been through enough to know that like it's no point in trying to fight with god and so if i know that why do i still low-key try to do it and all i'm doing is making myself tired you get what i'm saying and so this is what you want i'm saying that because i remember this one day i was so high in the spirit and I was really just like, I just don't understand why you would create sin, why you would create evil, why you would create the devil. Like, why would you do that? You know, like, and for me, the stuff that I'm avoiding in this hour, which is going to come to this later part of this video, um, it's why I have a hard time letting it go because it's like, why would you let that happen to me? Why would you let that happen to me? Like that, that's where I get stuck with God a lot and so i'm asking him like please help me get past this please let me just accept it is what it is because it's not gonna change nothing like god please just let me let this go okay because i can't wear that going into the next season i don't want to wear it going into my marriage and right. i remember that day he told me like so you would know this is not what you want life without me is not what you want eternity without me is not what you want and so i give y'all free will but evil also does exist sin did bring that into the world and in that i still show y'all like this ain't what you want okay so i don't know who needs that um it's not like i haven't had these moments with god but sometimes like it really just gotta stick for me and it just takes some time right because i just gotta understand everything and i think i said that in a recent live you know like i was reading something in the scripture one day and it was like this stuff troubled me trying to understand it outside of your presence that and some stuff i just gotta let go i might not ever understand right and that's okay because i'm not god and that is one of my favorite verses you know like through adam all this stuff happened um but you know through jesus everything is fixed you know like um we defeated all that and even with that i'm gonna throw this in there because it might be for somebody um like blaming your husband blaming anybody that's not helping nothing blaming yourself blaming god like it's not helping okay so um rising to the occasion so for me that did look like you know pushing through even though i am undergoing some of this stuff some of this stuff is straight up like the devil playing with me some of this stuff is megan though okay so that's where the dress for the occasion is coming in when i knew i was going to talk to y'all and i didn't know how i was going to do it i started thinking about this parable in the bible and i know the dude get kicked out because he not dressed for the occasion it's the uh the marriage feast parable i think um and so the part I kept hearing was like where he got kicked outside with the gnashing of teeth. The and if I kept hearing was the gnashing of teeth, the gnashing of teeth. And so if I'm being honest with y'all, like the last two weeks, I feel like I didn't just came out of the twilight zone. Like what the hell is going on out here? And I said it like that on purpose. Like what is that? And I feel like when we're disobedient, when God puts us at the door and we don't want to go in, we don't want to change our clothes. 
right then he'll let us feel that and this is not what you want like that's how i felt like you had a choice to rise to the occasion and you did it and so now you being left outside of the door where it's dark where there's weeping and the gnashing of teeth do you get what i'm saying in those moments you go okay maybe maybe i need to put on the right clothes maybe i need to take off some of this stuff maybe i need to heal maybe i need to change my lens maybe i need to repent maybe i do y'all get what i'm saying that's where i'm at that's where i'm at also when it comes to marriage and not just your spouse okay when it just comes to being a good wife in the body of believers right when you deal with other it people, really is a blessing for god to yoke you to to assign you to somebody that's going to help you not only address and pull down the fruit in your life that's not supposed to be there so the anger the bitterness the resentment but also somebody who will help you produce that good fruit that godly fruit in your life in place of that right and it always goes back to adam and eve like when i started noticing that i was like dang like we really fell out of paradise like that's crazy right but it's a blessing and it might not always be the most fun or feel the best when y'all are having to be like you know like that needs to go hey that needs to go that don't look right and and if we switch parallels with it hey like babe you'll need to have that on you can't come in here with that on so if people love you enough and reverence god enough to be honest with you and tell you that you should take heed to that and appreciate them for that because it's hard being honest with um ourselves it's hard being honest with other people so you really should be thankful for that accountability in your life and i'm at a point to where you know the last video i made like i was real turned up and i was like nah get out a lot of that isn't just you know like people like we can so easily hear those videos and i can release those videos like that but it's some stuff in me like hey you got to get out this it's a mindset that's not serving me anymore it's behavior that's not serving me anymore never really was serving me but now i'm in a place where it's like either you're gonna rise to the occasion or you not and then if you choose if you continue and repeatedly choose to not rise to the occasion dress for the occasion then you're gonna be left out there and ultimately that parable is getting that hell right but i don't want to feel that in my life I don't want to feel that in my circumstances and that I don't want to be interacting with people and dragging them into my own personal hell because we know how when other people do it to us. So if you have godly people in your life, and that don't mean perfect people in your life, but people who got some lessons that you might not have, got some fruit that you might not have, listen to that, right? And just, we in a point, because this is the last thing I'm going to say. I was just leaving my appointment, and, and me and her was talking about that. And it was like, you know, what's different now is I just made the decision to do it. And I'm actually determined to do it. And for me, that really does look like really healing, like the, the deep stuff. Like, I've been with Dirk this whole time. Every time he was, like, almost healed, I'm like, me too, poo, right? But, like, really continuing to go deeper in that healing so that I can't keep getting trigger like this so that i can see with the appropriate lens so the devil can't be out here playing me like that so these wounds i'm not walking around feeling like this i'm open wound walking around like i don't like that feeling right and maybe you can't put the clothes over that help me holy spirit right but and so you need to deal with whatever you deal with so you can get dressed for the occasion and rise to the occasion because i'm telling you not being able to go through that door is not what you want you want freedom and something that he was showing me like when we try to keep people in these um cages of like unforgiveness and judgment and um all of those things when we try to do that to other people we're moving like the enemy he tries to keep us bound because he's bound god don't do us like that it's freedom what the spirit of the lord is there is freedom and free will right but when we try to keep people caged up we we and, and locked up in whatever it is, we're acting like the enemy. And I can't stand him. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, I know when I start to feel like this, I'm really being met with like some stuff. And I do want to let y'all know that I have been making some hard decisions. And also realizing, my God, I don't want what's best for, best for me to feel like a hard decision. And now something is wrong with that. Something is off. And being able to acknowledge that. And when you can acknowledge that and you can address that then you can change that and that is all i want in this season of my life healthy change healthy growth i can't afford to not be in that place with god or with myself 
right which granted that is why you'll start yoking yourself up to people who you can't afford to be doing that with you can't discern that with and also understanding like letting go while being um you know mad like move forward without being mad you you can do that you don't have to be upset right so i don't know i know there's a lot of stuff but i pray to help somebody because that's just where i'm at it's it's way too much going on okay like it it was so much to where it was like oh no something's gotta give like this is not okay and i'll tell y'all about it maybe if i go live maybe i won't because i gotta do what's best for me right like i want to help people but like my mental health is really important to me so i love y'all it really is do or die and god has spoke so much to me about so many things at the beginning of the year and even what he had spoke to me about the month of june and to be so close and to realize everything i've just gone through the last couple of weeks like hmm, okay so yeah i see y'all on the other side because i'm rising to the occasion and i'm dressing for the occasion and i'm going in the door i'll see you in there